Hello again and welcome back to another one and today we have more on the game and it has been rough for the rapper over the last few days. He can't catch a break due to his recent post on social media and this time a throwback lit the fuse after it went viral. More on this in a moment. Today we also have more from Eminem who hit another milestone with Rap God on Spotify and this makes it another one for Eminem to complete the platform double and we'll explore a couple of reactions so far to this milestone. Today we also have more from Ed Sheeran who recently included Eminem in a unique lineup that shows Ed is probably the most famous Eminem fan in the world and we'll get to this at the latter part of the video. And here's a quick update to the story we covered in the last video as DJ Envy is currently in hot water as his associate Cesar Pena is accused of scamming investors and if you recall Funk Flex went nuclear on Charlemagne and DJ Envy when the news hit the web that included this segment. You're a crook you're a thief and you're a scammer and you should be ashamed of yourself in public right now saying you had nothing to do with it. And according to reports, some of the victims of the alleged scam claimed DJ Envy's stamp of approval convinced them to invest in the scam and now more clips have surfaced like this that gives more credence to Funk Flex's rant. What up y'all, it's DJ MV. Join us July 31st right here at the Jacob Javis Center. We're doing a real estate seminar talking everything real estate from Airbnb to wholesaling to flipping. Not only that, you can partner with us on some deals. Make some money with us, your partner, and we'll see you July 31st. And just like Funk Flex pointed out, some users on social media are saying the same thing right now in response to this clip. Bro was throwing that quote ass around, now he talking about he didn't know ish, somebody lying, and more he emphasized ass, now trying to say it was all Caesar. Mm -mm. And some believe this is enough proof, laughing my bum off, envy's cooked, laughing emojis. And moving on, the game recently shared a throwback that went viral on social media that included the caption, had the hottest chicks in the game wearing my chains. And I don't know what game was thinking by posting this, but the fact that this can no longer be found on his page says it all as social media users didn't hold back. Check this out, the old dude that won't let his high school football highlights go, laughing emojis. Game has been making it too easy setting up himself. The last time he tweeted DM for promo, he got roasted he had to delete. And the same has happened this time, more keyword being had. Bro's fall off must be studied and some have applied what 50 Cent called Nick Cannon to the game. This dude legendary corny, every year he talks about him and the Kardashians laughing emoji, this dude a groupie. And some concluded, Eminem this silently killed his career, but what are your thoughts? Perhaps users on the web should mind their business and let game relieve the good old days in peace. Moving on to the next point, Eminem's rap god hit 1 billion streams on Spotify a few hours ago and with this feat it becomes Eminem's 8th song to hit a billion on the platform and Eminem's 4th song to complete the platform double, 1 billion on Spotify and a billion on YouTube, joining Love The Way You Lie, Lose Yourself and Without Me. Rap God is also the most streamed rap song from 2013 on Spotify and this milestone brought out the salt from some users. Bro, who is listening to this loudly crying emoji? This song is horrible. Sounds like a personal issue, yes? And this sums it up nicely, whether you like it or not, it will always be a rap song to talk about, a classic. And speaking on MMLP2, fans on Reddit have some interesting suggestions under this thread. As we're getting close to the 10 year anniversary of the MMLP2, what do you hope they do to celebrate it? And some kept it short and simple. MMLP3. Thoughts? Moving on to the next point, Ed Sheeran was asked an interesting question in a recent interview with GQ. Check it out. Three artists I would listen to for the rest of my life. I think the Beatles. I'm going to choose artists that have a wide, wide, wide catalogue because there are some artists that are my favourite artists but have like two or three albums and if it was for the rest of my life I'd want to have a wide catalogue. I would say the Beatles, I would say Eminem and Foy Vance. And his trajectory is crazy. He went from overcoming his stutter by learning the lyrics to Eminem's MMLP album and now he performs with the rapper he idolized growing up. And a few days ago, news hit the web that Ed Sheeran has now surpassed 100 million equivalent albums sold globally. What a journey. And for those who reside in India, 50 Cent and Ed Sheeran are cooking up something. 50 shared this on IG, Ed Sheeran 50 Cent set India concert date and 50 added the caption, this is gonna be fun, the final lap tour 
boom that will be all for today share your thoughts below thanks for watching and see you on the next one